Welcome. I wanted to take a second and congratulate you on navigating our application and interview process and for joining the Daigle Cleaning Systems family. We welcome you to the start of your career and we look forward to seeing the many things that you will accomplish here as a Daigle Cleaning Systems employee. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what to expect during your first few weeks here at Daigle Cleaning Systems. Now, a big picture view of that, and, and before we get to the particulars, I wanted to talk a little bit about the company itself, who we are, and where we're going. So, Daigle Cleaning Systems was founded by myself, Derek Foster, and my mother, Michelle Daigle, in 2011, and we've been operating since. We have currently about 100 employees located here in the Albany, New York area, and we're looking to expand significantly. Our vision for the company is to put Daigle Cleaning Systems on the map and expand geographically over the next several years. We've already taken steps to do this by opening a location in Southern New York, and we also have plans to open a third location here over the next year, year and a half. So with that being said, we want to review with you the culture here and how we've been able to grow over the past eight years from just the two of us to a staff of 100. We've done that by creating a culture of respect. We respect all of our staff and the individuals who work here. We really want what's best for you and for your career. And in turn, we expect for you to treat all of your staff with respect as well as respect the organization and those who are within it. The two go hand in hand. In order to accomplish our vision and to achieve our goals, we need to continue this culture of respect and ensure that we're taking care of one another and doing our part to make sure that everybody has a good experience here. Some of you will come on and you'll be hired for a specific location in the organization or for a specific job. And you may find that something else is better suited for you. There's nothing wrong with that. We like to refer to it as putting people on the right seat of the bus. And what that means is by finding what everybody is good at and putting them in a position to be successful. We handle all training and development internally. So over the course of your career, you'll have opportunities to learn how to do new things, how to work in different areas of the organization, and overall, how to be successful here. The expansion and the growth that we are envisioning and from what we've accomplished already will go to show that there's opportunities for you to grow and for you to be here for the long haul. Maybe for some of you, it's to step into a leadership role. And again, we will provide you with the training and development necessary to be able to do that. So some of you are going to grow in your role and some of you are going to grow and develop into other roles here in the organization. No matter what happens, we wish you the best of luck. We want everybody to be successful here and if there's anything that we can do as an organization to help you feel more comfortable and to provide you with some more training and development, please make sure you let us know. Today during our orientation process, we're going to talk to you about what to expect during your first couple of weeks. In your new hire packet that you would have received at your orientation, which would be today, you'll find that you have a training checklist in that packet. It's very important that you bring that training checklist with you to the start of your first day, whether that be immediately after this orientation or a week from today. Please make sure to bring that. You're going to bring that to your supervisor or manager who will be training you in the facets of the company and our systems and processes. What they're going to do is go through that checklist to ensure that they're covering all the necessary topics that we need them to cover with you in order to make you successful and give you all of the information that you need. So today we're going to talk a little bit about our systems and processes and what your first week or so will look like. And then we're also going to talk a little bit about some of the particulars in terms of payroll and processing and how to clock in and out. And then we're also gonna leave some time here at the end for any questions that you may have. You're going to receive your new hire packet, which you also have in front of you. If you haven't done so already, please wait for our representative to tell you to begin filling that out. So today we'll take care of all your employee paperwork. If you have any questions with that, please feel free to reach out to our HR department directly and we can point you in the right direction. There are a lot of forms there that have been built and integrated into our systems over a long period of time. 
So don't feel overwhelmed. It is a lot of information and a lot of paperwork to fill out, but just bear with us and we'll make sure that you get through it. Any questions on your tax paperwork, I would suggest that you consult either with your significant other at home or your accountant or whoever does your taxes at the end of the year to gather any information that you may need in filling those out. So once we have your paperwork complete, what we're going to do today is dive into and your supervisor will take you through and start going through that training checklist and show you some of the particulars as to what we do and what your day will look like here at Daigle Cleaning Systems. So currently, the way that the company is set up, we have both a daytime shift as well as an evening shift. That can change as the company continues to grow and we begin to compartmentalize and grow each facet of the business. Just to give you a broad view, the company itself does everything from post-construction cleanups, we have a residential maid service, we floor care, carpet cleaning, and we also do commercial building cleaning and janitorial. So in some of the job ads that you may have seen, either online or in a print ad, you may notice that they are for a specific facet of the organization. However, if you applied for one of those, you may or may not be placed in that based upon your skill set and based upon what was determined throughout the interview process. If we figure that your strengths and your schedule match up better with post-construction, but you had applied for a commercial janitorial position, then we may look to offer you and, and bring you on, or already have done so, uh, a position in that specific area of the company. Now, at any time, that may change, and you may be asked to do something different. So the reason that we operate and that we do several different tasks and have different departments is so we can keep everybody as busy as possible. Typically in the winter, we may see a small or large decrease in the volume of post-construction cleaning that we do over the winter time, simply due to the fact that construction slows down in the winter. If you're in that department of the company and we have the ability to be able to move you elsewhere, then we have the ability to be able to keep you busy and make sure that you stay on payroll and continue generating a paycheck each week, and that's our goal. You may be placed in one of those departments. It doesn't mean that you will remain there for the, your tenure here at Daigle Cleaning Systems. The way the company is structured is we have our cleaning staff and cleaning techs who report to our supervisory staff, who then report to our management staff. We ask that each individual in the company follow their chain of command and first go to the appropriate party. The reason for that is to control the flow of information throughout the company. So that way, if you're going directly to your manager about a situation that you are personally dealing with or dealing with in your work life, we'll be able to help you out much faster than if you tried to reach out to either one of the executive team members or one of the management staff. So please make sure to do that. And if you aren't getting the response that you need or a timely response that you need, please feel free to contact our HR department and they'll be able to help you out or at least point you in the right direction and make sure that we all get on the same page. So with that reporting structure also comes our training structure. So you're going to spend quite a bit of time with that person that you report to over your first couple of weeks. They're going to show you everything from chemicals to equipment to how to use them, take them apart. We utilize the peroxide, a peroxide based disinfectant as well as a dispenser system which helps to ensure proper dilution of all our products and chemicals and you will have a full working knowledge as to how to utilize that, how to pack supplies, how to ensure you have everything you need on your job site, how to order materials, how to order supplies, generally how to function in your day-to-day -day tenure here at Daigle Cleaning Systems. Again, if you have any questions at any point in the process, please feel free to direct those directly to your immediate supervisor or manager. So moving forward with that, as you complete that training checklist, which will cover all of the basic topics, including cleaning techniques, which your supervisor should go through all those steps, as well as show you directly how to clean a bathroom, how to clean an area of an office, and actually how to physically do the work that we're asking you to do. They'll then ask you to perform the work, and they'll keep an eye to make sure that you're doing things the way that we need you to do them. We'll make any corrections that are needed, as long as you give it 100% and we look to make those corrections, then we can get you on the correct path and make sure that you're doing things the way that we want them to be done. The goal here is to be able to 
get everybody fully onboarded within the first week of starting. So that way you can grow and develop and have the right habits right from the start. So when it comes time for your six month review or your annual review, you will have made significant progress and we're able to acknowledge that progress down the road. So part of that, by doing the right things, is there are opportunities for growth here. As you heard me say, as far as our vision, we're looking to grow this company geographically and grow and expand significantly over the next couple of years. What that means for you is an opportunity to potentially take on a leadership role, if that's something you would be interested in, and the opportunity to, to really find your niche as, and, and fit into where your strong suits lie. So we encourage you to ensure that, you know, do the right things. And if you have any questions as to how you're doing, again, feel free to reach out for feedback to your immediate supervisor or manager. So throughout your first week, you're going to be given a lot of directions. Those directions are going to coincide with our training checklist, as I mentioned before. It's very important as we evaluate all of our staff as to how well they follow those directions. So if anything is unclear to you as your supervisor or manager goes through that, please ensure that you take the time to ask the questions to get any clarification that you may need. So I want to move on and talk a little bit about the expectations from a managerial standpoint that we expect from all of our staff. They're very basic and they're very simple and if you can follow these few things you're going to be successful here at Daigle Cleaning Systems. The first is to be on time. If you're scheduled to arrive at the warehouse for 8 o'clock, show up at 7.55. Be five minutes early to any shift that you have or are assigned to and if you're asked to, to maybe change that at some point, do your best to be flexible with the organization. It's really going to go a long way as to show your dedication to the organization as a whole. So show up on time, treat everybody with respect, and give 100%. If you do those three things here, you'll have nothing but success, and your annual review should be nothing but stellar. As you do move through the process here and start your career with Daigle Cleaning Systems, you may run into a few things um, from a personal standpoint that may cause you to miss work or to have to take a day off. We ask that you follow our process with this. So in order to appropriately call in or to request time off, we ask that you submit those through our ADP system or through our HR department to acknowledge that the request for a day off has been received. Some examples of a reasonable request would be for a doctor's appointment, for a child's appointment, for anything that, that occurs outside of work that you need to be at, either a family or life event. We ask that you give a, at least a week notice for that. More would be ideal. However, a week will give us time to plan for your absence and be able to backfill and ensure that we have the, the appropriate coverage so we can continue servicing our clients and not skip a beat. The reason why that's important is because our clients pay the bills. So they're paying for you to be on the clock and to have an employment and to have employment here. So in order to keep our clients happy, we need to ensure that we're able to staff the accounts appropriately and continue to perform the work to the level that they are used to. So be sure to follow our call-in process and if you can't for some reason, if an emergency situation comes up, such as a hospital visit or some other measure that prevents you from getting to work either on time or for a day, we ask that you give at least 24 hours notice. If not possible, contact your manager directly as soon as it is possible. So please follow those rules when you are going through the call-in process. It's not acceptable, it, the only time is it's acceptable to reach out to your manager and run those emergency requests through is if it is indeed an emergency and you need, to, you need to give a minimal notice to your supervisor or manager. With that being said, now that you know that we do have a call-in process, we don't tolerate no-call, no-shows. That's the terminology that we put and utilize uh, to somebody not showing up for their shift and not notifying any of their direct managers 
or supervisor. So to have a no call, no show, it's grounds for immediate termination. And we take that very seriously here. Again, we want to treat everybody with respect. And part of that comes with treating your managerial staff with respect and giving them appropriate notice, or at least a heads up if you can't make it in. If you can't do that, then you're probably not a good fit here for that culture of respect. So in addition to that, when you're working out in the field, you're going to be possibly working in a team or individually. So if you are working in a team setting, please remember to treat everybody with respect. If you do notice or observe an instance where one of your peers is not treating another employee with respect, please bring that to our attention. Bring that to our HR staff as well as report, report it to your manager so we can have the appropriate conversation and hopefully correct the situation before it becomes a problem. So the next thing I want to talk about is dress code. Now, in our employee handbook, which if you haven't seen yet, please ask your HR representative for a copy of that so you can review it. There is a section in that for our dress code, and I wanted to address this during the orientation just so everybody can be on the same page. We require all of our cleaning technicians to wear either khaki or jeans, khakis or jeans, not ripped or torn, as well as no open-toed shoes, so sneakers, boots, work shoes are all fine. And we provide you with a company logo Daigle Cleaning System shirt. It will either be a polo shirt or a t-shirt depending upon which section of the company you work in or which account that you're stationed at. So any questions on dress code, please take the time to ask them at your orientation so that way we can clear everything up. We ask that everybody presents a nice and neat appearance on a day-to-day -day basis, that everybody showers regularly and practices good hygiene. So again, if you have any questions on any of this, please feel free to reach out to our HR representative during the orientation and we'll be happy to point you in the right direction. So the, the huge question here that I'm sure you're all wondering is how do I get paid? And the answer to that is very simple. We have a clock in and clock out app through ADP. And we just recently rolled this out. It's a fantastic program. And you're able to put this application on your phone and simply open that when you arrive for your shift or here to the, the warehouse or your home base. Clock in when it's the, the appropriate time to and when you're assigned to and you'll notice that the clock starts running and it will actually keep track of your time throughout the week so that way you can look back and check that time. If there's any issues with your clock in, please report that to your manager as well as relay that to HR. We want to make sure that everybody gets paid in a timely fashion and the only way to do that is to make sure that we have accurate records in our office of the time work. If you notice that you're missing any time, please don't wait till the end of the week to report that please do so immediately and on a daily basis if needed. Again, the system that we utilize is fantastic. You're able to put in time off requests as well through that, pro through that program, which goes directly to our HR office. I know in our last bit, we talked about how to appropriately request time off, and this would be a valid way to do so. With that being said, you're also able to track your pay stubs. Well, you guys are paid weekly, Every, everybody's pay stub is located on that app and you're able to pull that up on a weekly basis. If for some reason you don't have the ability to print out that pay stub and need physical paper copies of it, again, please reach out to our HR department and we'll do our best to accommodate you with that. However, the expectation is because you're able to have those pay stubs directly on your phone that you'll be able to access those on your own. Any questions on payroll, or our submission or clocking in and out, please direct to your manager and they can direct you to the appropriate party. The way that our payroll works, as mentioned before, is on a weekly basis. And there's two ways for you to collect your payment. One is by direct deposit and the other is by pay card. If your HR representative has not already done so, they will present you with direct deposit paperwork where you need to input your bank account information in order to be signed up for this. 
There is no middle ground. It's either direct deposit or pay card. Your direct deposit form will also correlate with your pay card. So instead of putting a bank account, routing an account number, you would put your pay card information onto that form so that way we can get you registered and set up in the system. Those are the only two options. We do not issue paper checks to our staff. And the reason for that is quite simple. If we did that for everybody, we would spend a lot of time writing checks and, and waste a lot of paper. And as a green company, we want to make sure that we're taking all the steps that we need to to utilize the technology that's out there in order to conserve as much paper as possible. So if you have any questions with that, before you leave today, please be sure to reach out to your HR representative. The final bit that I want to talk about is your employee contact information. It's imperative that at all times we have your most recent and updated contact information and address. So in case of emergency, we need to make sure that you know, we have not only your contact information, but also your emergency contacts information. This paperwork is also located in your new hire packet and you'll be filling that out today as well. So take your time and make sure that you fill that out accurately. If any of that information does change over the course of time, which it very well could, please make sure that you update the office or HR that that information has changed. It's very important in case we need to mail any payments or in case we need to get a hold of your emergency contact in case of some sort of accident or something occurs on a job site and we need to get in touch with them. Thank you very much and I wanted to leave a few minutes for you to, to feel free to ask any questions of our HR staff and make sure that you take the time to fill your paperwork out completely. I wish you the best of luck and once again, congratulations on starting your career with Daigle Cleaning Systems.